in this series of videos, we'll take a look at PXT Live Plus, which is our new optional add-on for PXT Live. To be clear on this, PXT Live Plus is not a standalone product. In order to make use of PXT Live Plus, you need to purchase and install PXT Live. PXT Live Plus maintains all of the functionality of PXT Live, as well as pushes default functionality and adds new functionality into the equation. In this video, we'll take a look at the minor new additions that PXT Live Plus brings to the table. The touch strip can perform a variety of functions. You can switch between these by holding down select and using the touch strip. The available functions are selected parameter, crossfader, tempo nudge, pitch bend, mod wheel, and sprung mod wheel. Selected parameter sets up the touch strip to function just as it does in PXT Live. So you can control the last parameter that was clicked on with your mouse or that was adjusted with an encoder. Crossfader sets up the touch strip to control the crossfader. Tempo nudge allows you to use the touch strip for nudging the tempo up or down. Pitch bend sets up the touch strip to function as a pitch bend strip. Mod wheel sets up the touch strip to function as a mod wheel. Sprung mod wheel sets up the touch strip to function as a spring loaded mod wheel. MIDI mode is a new encoder mode that you can access by pressing volume and pan. This sets up the encoders to send common control change messages as well as program change messages uh, for working with MIDI instruments. In this example, I'm controlling the motif rack. With the last encoder, I can scroll between patches. With the in and out buttons, I can navigate between patches one by one. If the instrument has more than 128 patches, you can use the bank select encoders to move between banks. The other encoders here control common parameters. So you've got volume, pan, filter cutoff, filter resonance, and amp envelope attack. In this example, I'm controlling reactor, and again, I can use the last encoder as well as the in and out buttons to navigate between patches. Reactor doesn't natively respond to the messages that these other encoders send. However, it includes a learn mode, as many plugins do, that allows you to learn the encoders to whichever parameter you want in the plugin. Accessory mode can send keystrokes and shortcuts. You access this functionality by holding down shift. To give you an example here, I'll open up the browser, and then navigate to some clips, select those clips, and then load them onto the selected track. You can specify the keystrokes and shortcuts to send in your preferences file. By default, the track selection and track state buttons access CliffX functionality in accessory mode. And again, to access the keystroke and shortcut functionality, you need to hold down shift. This setting here allows you to reverse that so that you'll have keystroke and shortcut functionality by default and you'll access CliffX functionality when the shift button is pressed. These settings here allow you to specify which keystrokes and shortcuts to send as well as what LED colors to use for each button. And here you can see the list of keystrokes and shortcuts that you can assign to the buttons.